Welcome back, GTI fans. This is another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival from the uh, Geek Tech Industry server. Uh, I believe this is episode 17 of my shenanigans. Uh, not too many shenanigans so far. Uh, I, I know it's. I haven't really been smashing a bunch of stuff, and uh, lately I've been doing a lot of building stuff um because i i want my own pad okay so i appear to have logged off inside of a room um that i had sealed in so i'm going to show you what i did since the last video the last video we basically just sealed up the the um um generator and garage and got that all up and running and powered we still had to all texture it and put all the equipment in so you can see i've got a hole or a door leading to an elevator shaft so i also built a elevator shaft off the back wall of the and i do have a little bit of a feature let's see what it looks like so I dug it out and this is all sealed in. You can see I'm at 22 degrees. I got some lighting down here to kind of show a little bit of the, of the rock. I did it in a red. So I kind of stole this idea from Lift Pizzas. He did this in one of his uh, series. Uh, I think he did it on a, like a, a space base in an asteroid or something like that anyway i thought i thought it would still work in the same concept i might have to actually brighten up those lights but in order to get back there now i'm gonna have to pop out a window uh anyway so let's keep going down you can see it's uh quite the elevator shaft and i'll show you where that goes to where we were later so this descends down into the top of the generator's roof. So we'll go in here. This is probably starting to look a little bit form more familiar. There's the um, furnace installed, everything textured up. We put the, the uh, O2, we've got some deco in. Uh, can probably still do a bunch more deco. Now these are trap decos because if you get too close I think you'll yeah you'll die <laughs> it's funny um, so yeah it's all sealed up we got lighting in there we got our our basic equipment down here we've got three uh, advanced constructors up and running and a wall of cargo boxes for our stuff uh, I've got some medical equipment an O2 dispenser, even though that we're not actually consuming O2 at this point from the base because uh, the planet is um, breathable. Uh, I do have a fridge and food processor up. So let's go out and I'll show you the, the lighting out here. So with all the lights in, you can see it does light it up enough to actually see the whole place now. So not bad. Uh, I'm really liking the look of it. It feels like a really large garage, doesn't it? And it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that sterile um, basement. Um, um, how to describe like concrete hole in the ground type type feel it actually feels like it actually could be the basement of a building of a very large building okay so so this is what i accomplished last video was getting all the lighting up um i like it now i really like this garage it, it rocks at least i think so anyway I can paint this later. Actually, I can paint it now. What color should I do? Does that need to be like a gray? Door the same. Maybe more of a 
of a weight. Hmm. Not sure about the weight. Slightly darker gray. Yeah. How about a dark gray? Kind of too metal-y looking, right? Uh, I think this was it. So I don't think I want it any other, maybe. ridiculous. What about if I make it darker though? Hmm. If I get it to match that. One darker? It's not bad. I think we have a winner. There we go. I like that. Okay, so let's do this door the same. It's harder to see the brown texture on that door. Looks kind of black. From uh. Ugh. Looks like poo. God, that's a big jump in. Really? Uh, we need a more defined color palette, guys. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go with that. We're we're so limited on our colors still. Um, maybe one of the next alphas, they'll introduce some more color, a bigger color palette. A more, you know, at least give us double what it currently is. Double. That'll kind of be okay for now. Until it goes into bel out of alpha into beta. Like, really? Okay. Yeah, I can't do much about that. Let's go up and check out what I did. So here's the elevator room with the elevator shaft. Basically what I did is I just... I just... Instead of putting four solid walls, I decided to make a little bit of a of a window feature going up the elevator shaft, so you can kind of kind of see the rock formations as we go up, and then there's no lighting. But then, I guess my shoulder light. Poof, we're into darkness. Okay, so let's drone it up. Let's just pop a hole through here because I'm not sure if I really like how this is functioning anyway. I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so can we get out through here? Yes, okay, good. Um, so I've got this tower going on, coming off the... Sorry, the sunlight's kind of creating some glare. I've got this tower, but I, I, it needs to be either... See, right now it is seven. It's a seven by seven, but I'm thinking it needs to be a nine by nine. 
And I don't like how these are working right here. I, I think the spacing is off. With a 9x9, nine nine, I could get away with um, the an extra space in between those and it would actually look okay then I think I think I need to do that so I think this tower needs to get completely torn right down and rebuilt and I'm, I'm still not happy with how uh, the top of this is looking at all I don't know if I want to keep the spiky bits I think I think I might go with just a complete wooden roof at this point on this inner tower because it's not going to be a, it's not technically a combat tower it's the inside the inner it's going to be part of the actual castle proper really um, so here's my plan okay you can see yes I've also laid down a large we're going to run into drone range problems but I, I laid down a pad, a landing pad, that basically right up into the, I went all the way to the uh, north as far, about four blocks back from the max range that I could get from the core. Um, I mean, it kind of looks castly from, with that, but it, the, the little spires are, are off. The distances are off. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to change that. Anyway, <clears throat> so the outer bailey wall here. Ah, damn. I knew we were going to lose that. Uh, I need to get out there. So, you know what? I just need to pop a hole. It's probably going to be a door right here anyway. Oh, wait. That's... No. I don't want a door there. Let's seal that up. Probably want to do a door over here. Yeah, this makes more sense. Yeah, because because this will be built out. This will go out. We'll have more building. So this is going to be part of the building. Uh, the sprawling castle um, proper, really, because it's going to be inside the secondary bailey wall. And what what I mean by that is, let's let's go out and actually, you know what? Let's just go right down. Oh, that freaked me out. I thought it was like a snow dude. Okay, so. This needs still, I still need to get access down below up to there. Uh, so what I'm thinking is some sort of hall or building. I should probably build a secondary bailey wall coming off of the landing platform here. So that'll be higher than the secondary Bailey wall. Let's do. Say so I've started the 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 building structures for those. Now I might have screwed that up because I'm thinking I needed to be have an odd amount of blocks wide, and I think I'm at. Oh no, I'm odd. Good. Good. I probably thought about that when I built it. Now the reason why you want to do odd is if I want to. Um, it just seems to work better for spacing stuff out. I don't know. Like if I build a roof with a peak at the top, that peak will be at the very center and that'll, that square technically is, is, um, going to create an odd number if you have an even amount of, of squares on either side of that right so so your base needs to be an odd number to create a symmetrical shape roof <clears throat> you'll see what I'm talking about actually let's um 
Let's try and do that on one of these towers right now. Let's just let's just work on this wall a little bit here. I mean, it's starting to look like there's something's going on up here now, right? Okay, yeah, drone problems. God, really? Okay, so we need to get up higher. Let's... Oh, it's really bright other than the... <laughs> it's really... Wow! The uh, It really sticks out when you're in uh, night vision. The snow is just white and then everything else is just bright green. Almost looks like uh, structural integrity green. But anyway, okay, let's build this. Sorry, we're going to go into uh, night vision here because it's just, it's, it's easier to see. I know the coloring sucks, but for our purposes, we can get this done easier. I'm thinking this needs to go higher. Yeah, because that's the adjoining wall. So let's let's go up probably what another three blocks. Let's see. Oh what? Come on. Really? Stupid. That was really weird. It uh, <laughs> it ejected a, a block way over to the other side. I've no, that must be a shortcut to do that. I hit the button and it shortcut it along. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Let's get some more blocks on here. Oh, do we have any more on us? Yes. Get those used up. Okay, and oops, I'm shy. Ugh, stop. Stop being a bad pilot. There we go. Okay, now that does not look like the right height. It looks like I need to come down with that wall, I think. So I want one block at least along the top here. I don't think that's high enough. Although if we flare out, okay, so I'm probably gonna have to make an elevator down here to get in. So let's, um, in the center here, sure. Pop that out. Need to put a door there. Do I have any on me? No. Don't have very many elevators. Okay, so let's let's go into the I've filled up the constructors with with materials, so our builder is pretty much this one on the base now is pretty much our main constructor so let's go into it and I've got it cranking on blocks right now I do need to stop that so let's just get rid of all this get rid of all this um, we can grab those in the meantime uh, what I need is I'm gonna need a bunch more automatic door blocks so let's make at least what, 10, 20 of those. 
And then I'm going to need a whole shit ton of elevator blocks, right? Like, what, a hundred? Let's get that going. Uh, okay, I've got a bunch of lights. 31. Probably going to need more lights, too. I'm going to need a lot more lights. And windows. I'll probably need more windows, too. So let's queue up some windows, too. Where's my windows? Here. Do another 100. Should keep this going. Okay. Just let these finish really quick. Advanced constructors are pretty fast. Grab that. Get some some more of these. We just need to get up high enough to uh, to finish off the top of this. So we'll get a bunch of elevator blocks in. I was contemplating making stairs, but what a pain in the ass. Stairs would be more contemporary and, and look more authentic, but I don't know. I want some sort of functionality. I want to be able to go up to the tower in a sealed environment and like chillax, look out over the top of the wall and, and you know, have a smoke and a coffee if that's what I'm doing. Walk along the top of the wall with my morning coffee. So, you know, I, I, I want these to actually be functional rooms too with with stuff in them. Um, okay, that's good enough for now. Let's get this stuff in. So I should get this door in. Which do we want? We want it smooth on the outside. So, um, are we going to continue with the same theme? The default one? I think so. I think we need to stay consistent. I don't want, to, want it looking hodgepodge. Okay, let's get in there. Oh, what's going on here? Well, that's the well that created a a bizarre visual thing. Anyway, let's get some lights on. Oh, really? I might need to throw some lights up. Let's um, let's do that. Let's put a light right there. So we'll continue with the same lighting scheme. Okay, there we go, some light. It's not so bad in here now. Uh, so the, t the, the elevator shaft, I'm guessing, where do we want the elevator shaft? Do we want it on the back wall, like in the corner? I don't know. I don't know. Do we want it in the center, facing the door? No. I. Or do we want it in the center and then have two? Or do we want it in the corner? I think we just want it in the corner. I think we want it in the corner. We can glass in the uh, glass it in so it's not so treacherous, I guess. So get a bunch of those in. Oh, 
why am I why am I manually doing this? I keep preaching, use the drone, use the drone, and here I am manually doing it. Okay. So again, now the lighting's getting really bad. Let's go back to the uh, night light, or night vision, I should say. Okay, so there's our elevator shaft to the top. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is we need to flare this out, right? We need to flare it out. So, and we need to seal that in because <clears throat> that'll be the floor. So let's, let's do that. So let's go like this. Let's use our wooden blocks don't need the elevator shafts right now so let's do this and we should be able to just pull it and there we go okay and then so that's not sealed there um but <clears throat> i do plan on sealing the top So let's work on that. So that, you know what, let's, let's just go up there. Okay. Uh, okay. Get the drone out. Oh, look at that view. Nice. Nice. Okay, good. Let's get these on. So what I'm thinking is, can I can I do this without? God, come on, sunlight. When's what time is it at? Oh God, we still got a long ways to go. So let's just let's just suck it up. And. Get this built. Yeah, that's not the right way. That, and then here. that and like that oops okay um well oh, whoops that's too far i'm gonna put the corner pieces in so let's, it's these ones, right? And then we flip it upside down like that. And then spin it like that. Yep. And we'll just spin it. And spin it. And spin it. Okay, so that's our... <clears throat> our extension out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now I'll just I'll just do blocks. Uh 
Uh, now how... How big do I want to make this high, right? Because I want it to look right. Because it's so wide, if I only do it a few high, it's going to look really squat. Do I want it to be symmetrical, a nice square shape to it? If so, i got to count how wide this is. So that's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. Okay, so I'm going to do it nine high. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I think it's going to look better. And I'll just make it a couple of stories, right? A few stories even. I can make it multi-level inside. Have it like housing, barracks, I don't know. So let's try this. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. might even be able to go lower than that actually I don't think I'll have to do the nine right yeah I, I don't think I'll have to do nine okay let's do so that's seven I think we can even drop that down a bit. Let's see. Oh, that flare. Stop that. Thank you. Can we see anything? No. God, thank God for night vision. This would be impossible to do at night. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it has to go higher than that. No. No, it doesn't need to go higher than that. that okay, so that'll work. That'll work. Let's wall this in. Nice. And and up, oh, didn't go high enough. Okay, so is that more appropriate? Let's see. And on the other side, and the roofs will almost touch, I guess, as it comes over across. There'll be a slight gap. Well, that'll be interesting. Looks a little oversized. Or this is just not big enough. So 10 by 9. I want it at 9 high. <sighs> That's the highest you can get. The widest and highest. It's not the widest, but it is the highest. The widest for the highest. Let's put it that way. Huh. It's going to look weird. 
I think, with them so close together. Is it is it gonna look really weird? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I can I can tear it all down again. I guess. Uh, okay, so up here, I think we're just gonna seal this whole thing in with wood. Oops, that wasn't the right button. Let's try this. And then, oh, you can see it's now sealed in. I'm at 22 degrees, so that structure is now sealed up to that point. Uh, okay, so let's pop a roof on here now. Uh, I kind of want to go with a something like... Something like a steep pitch, like this, like this, oops, too far. And then, and like this. And across. Come on, nope. On this side. Stop it. Ugh. Okay, let's get these corner pieces in. Hmm. Which ones are they? Is it this one? I want the full corner, yes. So, like that. Rotate that. Okay. Okay, and then we want like that, and like that, and that one there. And again, Okay, so now we'll fill this in with these. Rotate that, get that filled in. Take that, get that filled in. Another row here. So we'll continue we'll continue doing this until we've reached a peak, really is what we're is what we're trying to accomplish. So now I need a support layer. Okay, so let's just go with regular block. We'll just Oops, oh good. I thought it was gonna place that, but it didn't. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we continue. We get the corner block again. Put that in. Okay. 
that. that and then we yeah because we'll punch we'll punch a bunch of that out for windows right so there's going to be a bunch of windows um yeah I don't know if there'll be any windows along there, but there definitely will be in this. Okay, let's continue this. Get this done. And the sun will be coming out in a, in a few minutes, so that'll give us a, a better look at this in proper lighting. Okay, so we've got to do another, another row of blocks. Fix that and that. And that, I mean, I probably don't have to do the full thing, I could probably just put the corner ones in and then pull everything across. And give myself a smaller block count, I guess, and lighter, but this is the top of it, so it's not gonna go past this, so I'm not that worried. Um, what are we doing? No, we're not doing that one. We're doing the corner one, and that's right there. Take that. And get that on there. Get that on there. We'll get these slopes put in. Let's get closer and closer to a, a top. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. How's that looking, how's that looking? Now, we could either go with just a flat like that. Yeah, I like that. I think we just stop there. So let's cap this off. We don't need to do a peak. We don't need to do a peak. Okay. So. We need some sort of flagpole. Let's. Do we do a flagpole in each corner? Is that how that works? I'm not quite sure. I like the look of it so far. Kate, screw off. I like the look of it so far. So let's, um, should we texture this up? Let's texture, that's color. Won't be using any color on this stuff except for the wood. But let's get the texturing down. Let's 
so this is all going to be this. Then we'll put some... Oh, apparently I'm starving to death, and I got no food on me. Uh, I'll just do an emergency oh. ration. Since I got over 20 of them. Okay, I could have just ran over to my ship and eaten. I got a ton of food in my ship there. So you can see this landing platform is actually a decent size. It, it, it fits. It's more than sufficient to fit my ship. I actually have a bunch of wiggle room. So obviously the wall is going to continue along here. And then it's going to wrap around. And then the inner bailey wall is going to go across there. So this is going to be all a sealed compound, all walled. Um, and then the castle will continue up that mountainside there. Okay, the sun's almost out. We'll get to see what this looks like. Get this in. I might need to do some more wood texturing on this. Um, we'll see. This is, um, hopefully I'm playing. No, I'm not. <sighs> Okay, so let's do this again. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I'll have to go inside and see which ones I missed. Anyway, get that all textured because it's going to need to be anyway. It's a staggering amount of work that this <laughs> that, I'm, that I took on to to do this castle, but I think um, I mean, how often? Do you get to build a castle in a game, right? Block by block. I guess uh, Lego games, you probably can. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there are other games where you can build, where it's just free, freestyle building, like uh, Minecraft and whatnot. But uh, obviously the graphics on this game are much better than Minecraft and combat stuff, so... I think this game has more potential than Minecraft. Okay, we're getting there. The sun will be out in a, in a little bit. So I think I think texturing all this will kind of put it in perspective too. It'll give us a better look on on what it'll actually look like, because uh, concrete's just drab industrial look right but this i really like this this stone fitted stone look it kind of looks it looks like it it's appropriate i don't know if that's the term but it looks like it looks like it should be like that you know it doesn't look stupid This all textured. Yeah, it's it's a lot of work, I know. Oops, I accidentally textured one of the one of the wood pieces. I'll have to fix that. I don't want any I I, I want the default texture for the wood because I like that default texture. The 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 stain I'm gonna do darker brown on it, but the texture I like the default. So that's that and oh, the sun is cresting so let's switch to just regular vision here and get this textured up okay okay so it's starting to look like something other than, plus the texturing, it, it, it's more visible than just the the concrete. You know what I'm saying? Like it, you can actually see angles and corners and, okay, come on, son. 
You were teasing us there for a minute. Where'd you go? Let's see, so something like that. And then we need windows in there. So windows all the way around. So it's going to need just trying to decide what type of windows to put in. <clears throat> hmm. Do I do a big, do I do the whole thing, open it right up? So there's just one square and then window the whole thing. Huh? It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea how many windows I got on me. 161, so there's enough. And then we... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's try this. So one square in. And then, hmm. We'll have to make some sort of elevator access where this is this wall we're going to be able to walk across the other one's going to come up and join and there'll be a top to it this looks a little too high i think i think it needs to go down and match the height of that so that is what one square lower one square lower Yeah, that needs to be one square lower. Come on, let me get it. Can I get it before my drone pops? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Turn my light on. Let's jump up in here. So, a nice open window space. Yeah. Yeah, although that, let's see, let's see, let's get this in. Because we've got one block there, one block there, one, so one block all the way around. Um, that's three high. Hmm. That really sucks. I don't really want to, aesthetically, if I did it any more or less, height-wise, it would look screwed up. Do we do it right to the edge or do we do one down and then more narrow? Yeah. Yeah. Let's put some of these blocks back in. Okay. Get that textured. Oops. Let's color texture. Okay. Okay. Get those textured. All that done. Okay. 
Okay, let's put the windows in now. See how it looks like. Uh, grab some of these. Get that there for now. Okay, so what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, and an uneven amount. So. I'm thinking if we do the two, the two long single wide along here, and then do we just do the singles along the top. Yeah. I mean, we could do the singles the whole way and that would look like a latticework sort of window which is kind of cool too. Um, let's see, let's do singles the whole way. Now I want that in though. So can I just go like this? Okay. And, oh, that's sealed. Look at my temperature just Oh, I kind of like the look of that. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. So that was uh, one square top and bottom, two squares on the side. Okay. So let's do this. Not close enough. Come on. There we go. And that's two squares. Come on. Not close enough. Three, two squares, two squares. One square and two squares. Okay, get these windows in. Okay. squares two squares okay single okay and then That in and over here, do the same thing. So that was the other thing about doing two squares on the side and only one square on the top and bottom is it creates a little bit of a visual illusion that the um, the sides are and the heights are closer to the same. I don't know. It, I'll sh so it creates a perfect square out of the window space or not a perfect square, but at least, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just ignore me. Let's just fill this in. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yep. Yep. So. 
So and then I'll make another one identical to it on the other side. It kind of brings the, it'll bring them really close together. There's not going to be much of a gap between the um, towers, the top of the towers. Um, but that's okay. So, so that old archaic look or that sort of modern contemporary look? I think I want to keep with the modern contemporary theme. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the modern contemporary. Okay, I'll get this textured up. Okay, so I think I found the style that I'm going to go with for the towers. I like the look of that better than the look of that. That looks just ugly. This has some... This does not look ugly. This looks like it would be something that somebody might actually build in real life. If they had the money to build something like that in real life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dropping that wall down one is definitely the right move. Okay. Well, guys, I think we're going to leave this episode here. Um, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to continue to build this outer bailey wall. I'm going to try and get it all done, actually, and have it all matching up. Um, and have it so the, the wall is going to continue up the side of the mountain. Um, but it's also going to continue this way right along here. Oop. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I like this. I like this. Okay, so do I texture all this too then? And just have the wood. Now, what kind of texture do I do there? Do I do I do the? Do I do like I did with all of that? You know what? Okay, I think I will. What I'm gonna do is just so I, the whole block. I just want to get the whole block, and then. Okay, then I want to change, because this is not going to be a surface that is driven on, uh, although that doesn't look too bad like that. Hmm. Yeah, for, for, for these outer bailey walls, I think we'll just, we'll just stick with that. We'll just stick with that. So I guess the next thing I can do is I can think about putting some lighting in here. Let's do that. And I think the single pane windows were the way to go. It would have looked all weird doing multiple size windows. Okay, so where do we want to stick this? We want it on the roof, probably, right? Dead center. I don't know if it's going to reach us. Um, we could do something like, I want to stick to this thing. We could do something like this. Okay, um, that's not bad, that's not bad, kind of shows off the roof, the uh, wood, I like, I like that, okay, now, are the windows facing the right way? 
Nope. There we go. There. Now we can see out of them. We don't get that weird flare. The only problem with windows um, is it does actually kill sunlight flare. So if you want to see that breathtaking sunlight come up over the mountainside, you got to go stand outside to do that because it's not the same when you're looking at it through the windows in the game. I'm just saying. But I still want these facing the right direction because we want to see out and not in. That'll change a little bit what it looks like from the outside too. Okay, is that all of them? Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, I can't get my drone out of here unless I go downstairs with it. So I think this is done in here for now. Um, I can add a bunch of deco and because it's all solid blocks, like full width blocks, I'm not going to run into weird issues where I can't put stuff against the walls. Um, so I, I should be able to make this like an apartment or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I can... No, actually, let's, let's make sure I've got the right color going on with the wood. Was it this one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one because that one is too dark. Yeah. Or, oh, no, that is the right one, the darker one. Yeah, that's that's it there, right? Yeah, that's what I had going downstairs, I'm pretty sure. The dark brown. Now I can't remember. Was it the dark brown or was it the... Was it this one? I think it was the dark brown. God, now I can't remember. Although that one really looks good. Uh, this one, you can see more of the texturing of the. I mean, that looks good. Damn. I'm not sure what color I did downstairs. Well, we'll see when I go downstairs. Okay, so that is the second lightest. I like it. Let's get these ones done. Uh, we'll apply to the whole block. And the great thing with the cement texturing is, oops, I was just gonna say, I can't actually paint anything in here other than the uh, wood in there. I just, I just painted the freaking elevator block brown. Okay, so, uh, elevator blocks, right. Hmm. I think I want to go with that, um, it was gray. We're going with gray. Yeah. I'm going to stick with the gray for the electronics. What about gray for the windows? Hmm. Makes them really stand out though. Let's see. Oh, well, I like it better than the blue. 
matches. It's ma it matches. You know what? Yeah, let's go with the um. No, let's do this. I like it. Let's do it. Oh, do I? Yeah, apply to whole block. Okay, good. Okay. 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 So there we go. There we go. The floor's painted. The ceiling's painted. The windows are painted. It's all textured in here. I like it. I like it. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it here. Uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next episode, we will um i don't know what we're gonna do so we're gonna maybe work on the base some more maybe go smash a poi now that i actually have a fairly functional base where i can store stuff i could probably start transferring my stuff over but i really do want to get uh this up to the functional stage where i'm not um Where I'm not having to rely on the CV for a bunch of stuff still. So like for food, for example. So I do have to get my greenhousing up and working. Um, so that's a need thing. I do need to get this wall finished so that critters can't come into my uh, landing pad. Um, so I still got a lot of work to do really before I go out adventuring, I think. So let's... I'm going to tear that down too and build it like this one. Yeah. So let's plan on probably doing some more construction next video, but I will be, I will have hopefully the entire outer Bailey wall built by then and that done. And we can actually start on the inner Bailey wall and greenhouses. That'll be, uh, in behind the inner Bailey wall. Um, so I think that's what the focus will be uh, on next episode. We'll be getting some of the inner Bailey done, getting some of the, the castle proper buildings started, uh, getting that connected up maybe with that, uh, cause that's the elevator shaft down, uh, getting, hallways dug out and built getting the a bunch more dug out and built so yeah i think i think i'll get the the outer wall built so that we can start working on the uh, inner wall next next episode okay guys i'm out of here uh stay tuned for the next next episode it should be fairly quickly and i will talk to you guys later Later.